Oh my god, I look so tanned. Whew. Genuinely don't look this crazy in real life. Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mark Ferris, because I feel like I have gained a few uh, more subscribers in the past week, which is lovely. Thanks for being here. Yes, I am sitting in my pants. What the absolute hell happened on my last video? Thank you so much for your support and just like your feedback. It was so great because I know a lot of you knew that I was a little bit nervous doing like these trend videos because I don't usually do them. And like the reception was phenomenal. Uh, never you I never doubted you guys anyway, but like, yeah, just thanks so much. And please let me know in the comments because I had so much fun doing it. Let me know in the comments um, what other videos you'd like to see from me. Now, if you are new to my channel or you're not new to my channel, <laughs> there's two things that I talk about more than anything <laughs> in this world. And that is love slash dating um, and friendship. In the past, I have made so many videos dedicated to talking about like toxic friendships, toxic relationships, just like loads of situations under them too. Situations. So the other week I put on Instagram a little poll about the wacky world of dating um, and the feedback I got from that was like really interesting, amazing and so many of you were like, oh yeah, let's, let's just like do a sit down video for that and I was just like, okay, I'm going to do that because I have a lot to say um, about the matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'm going to try my best to not make this as shady as possible. Um, because that's just not me. But yeah, so there's going to be a few opportunities where I am going to dive into what um, I've been through, especially recently. Um, I was seeing someone and, um, to put it bluntly, didn't work out. Did not work out. Feeling really great about that. Um, <laughs> so the first one I put up on Instagram was, would you consider things that are going great and things could get serious after three or more dates with someone. So um, you're on your third date with someone. Um, I personally think that is a big thing. So when I'm dating, I don't do it often. It's so important to me to be honest about absolutely everything because I don't wanna waste anyone's time. I don't want my time to get wasted. And I feel like there is so much mind games and game playing and oh, shall I not text back in like certain hours or should we make them wait on this and that? I think there's so much of that going on that when I actually say, here we go, this is how I feel, I'll be branded like a psycho or something or a bit needy or a bit too keen when in fact, no, I'm just saying how I feel. I feel like you guys might see a definitely different ranty side to me because I'm a very passionate person and I don't like the idea of anyone getting mugged off especially in this situation. And the response I got from people being like, oh hey, like you've got to make a video about this, I'm going through the same thing. I'm here for you. Um, literally, look at the colour difference, love it. So, I'm on, I'm on a third date with someone, I'm like, oh my god, personally for me this is a big deal. Now I don't, I'm not going to diminish the fact that most people will like go on like several dates all the time, like they love dating, absolutely fine. For, for me personally, I'm old fashioned. Three dates is a massive number. I don't take that lightly, like that is a big deal. I've decided to meet up with this person three times and chat to them all the time. Like that's a big deal for me. Oh. This is difficult because I, I get told a lot that, um, oh, it's just gonna naturally happen. You think too much in for it. Like you, you think too much of it. You're obsessed at the idea of like trying to find someone. And I, I do get that, um, like genuinely I don't really speak about love and relationships as much as it does seem like I do on my channel, <laughs> but um, I think that's just the way I am, I like, I've always like, sort of worn my heart on my sleeve and I'm really prone to getting like mugged off by people because I'm very much all or nothing in all aspects of my life, I'm very either or. Would you get annoyed if you found out if someone you were dating was dating slash texting other people. Now this was very um, yes answer. Like loads of you, like thousands and thousands of you voted in these things. I personally wouldn't do that unless you're making it obvious. Loads of people actually said in the DMs like, oh, if you're honest about, hey, like I'm dating other people, blah, 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 is that okay? Um, I personally would absolutely hate it. Um, I've always not seen, I've never seen myself as a jealous person at all. 
but I just don't know if I'd like it because then I would feel pressured. I feel like personally for me, I would feel pressured to be like, oh my god, I'm in competition with other people, like la la la, only because I don't usually go out on dates that much. So I would feel uncomfortable with that. I feel like honesty is the best thing. Like I'm like, that's just the way I am. And I feel like it's so important to just be like, this is where I am. This is where I'm stood. Tell me where I, sh where I stood, where I stand. <laughs> like it is very different. It depends on the person, the situation. Like if you just come out of something and you just like want some fun little dates or whatever, it does depend. But for me personally, if I'm dating someone, I would absolutely love it if they didn't date anyone else. If you're texting someone you like, do you put off texting them back for a while because you don't want to seem too keen? So the two options were keep them hanging or text back ASAP. Um, I know for a while that there's a lot of people in my life who are absolutely awful at replying, um, which is fair enough. I'm not one of those people. If I get a text and I can see it, I will reply straight away. Um, I do, however, sometimes reply in my head and I, do, I have on occasion forgotten to text people back so I apologize if I've ever done that but um I feel like because I'm always on my phone because of like my job and blah 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 I usually see texts straight away and I reply to them if I can like that's just me I can't understand how people could do that and wait four to five hours for a reply and um because I like imagine if you're like oh how's your day five hours later yeah it's good how's yours yeah really good I did this I did that like 10 hours later, or the next day even, literally no joke, literally the next day, oh yeah, it was good. Like, just tell me. Like, uh, th that, no. That just doesn't sit well with me because I am quite impatient, quite impatient, apparently, which I've learned a lot about myself, um, which is great <laughs> because I always thought I had the patience, I had the patience of a saint. Um, but I don't know, I think it is all about the past and what you've been through and how, um, like that famous saying, treat others like you'd like to be treated. Like if you don't fancy someone, tell them, tell them that you don't fancy them. Don't lead anyone on. And I actually spoke to my friend about this the other day and she um, actually told me there is a phrase called breadcrumbing, um, which is a phrase that I never heard of. And me and my friends were talking about this uh, Saturday night because we're all in this situation now where we're dating people and we're all like coming together and we're talking and we're all going through the sort of same thing and it's so funny and there's just these 10 signs that someone you're dating is breadcrumbing you they send sporadic messages the messages are meaningless the messages are vague they just want to hook up um, they're non-committal um, you don't feel good about it um, you're making it like they're making you feel like you're the problem. You're wondering what they what you did wrong. They always seem to know just when you're getting over them. Late night texts and passive aggressive. These are very relatable, and I feel like like a couple of my other friends are going through this as well. And I just don't agree with that. I I personally, for me, like I said to my friend the other day. I said to my friend Rose, I am very naive to this whole dating thing. Um, I I can't get my head around other people treating people like crap and leading people on and all this sort of stuff because I would never do that. Um, in the past, obviously, I've had a cheeky kiss, that sort of stuff, and maybe I haven't texted back um, because some of these like some of these experiences are like at a house party or in the club they are meaningless that you're in the heat of the moment it doesn't really matter but i feel like if you're get dedicating your time to speaking to someone every single day it's basically just like they're buying the time until they find someone who's like perfect for them which is a great thing to do to someone um is it important to, for you to be upfront and honest with someone you're dating about how you feel even if it's only been a few dates um this was 50 50 i remember so clearly for me, um, I have to be really careful about not coming on too strong or like a bit of a psycho, but it's just how I am. It's, um, it's a bittersweet curse um, because at least everyone knows where they usually stand with me. Not that I'm like all high and mighty, by the way. Um, not in the slightest. It's just, I just think it's important because as like you're getting older as well, 
it is very, and it's, I think it's a respect thing as well. Like, everyone needs to be respectful and respected. Um, so, and like, I think of it as like, if I'm dating someone for like, two months, three months or whatever, I'm wasting my time. If they're not in, if they're not in it, and I've already said that I wouldn't be dating anyone else, I could have missed the chance of meeting someone else. Likewise with you guys. Um, obviously chip in when you can in the comments about everything I'm saying. I know I'm, I speak at the speed of light. Are you put off by someone if you feel like they're playing games slash mind games? Um, majority of people are like, of course. But there are a handful of people that thrive on it. They actually do enjoy playing a little game, playing a little chase. I mean, like that famous phrase, you want what you can't have, that is so current. And I think a lot of people go through that. And when they actually get what they can't have, they don't want it. Sad truth. That is something that actually happens. I also think it's very important to like make sure you're aware of like other people. If you're going on a date with someone and they're constantly talking about their exes and their past experiences and stuff like that, like obviously it's down to suck like most people were like oh yeah i'd actually like to know so it's a clean step clean slate of dispat sorry uh for me personally i feel like if someone's talking about their exes and going on about stuff i think it's very very unattractive and would put me off um it just depends on the situation if i was to be like oh tell me about your ex and they were like this and that, fair enough but if they're just like constantly oh yeah my ex did this or we did this i'd be like Okay, we'll get back with them then. If you're dating someone and you keep getting these little warning signs about that person, do you give them a chance or do you sack it off? Um, in hindsight, I definitely should have sacked it off. Um, <laughs> that's it, you live and you learn, you grow, all about experiences. Um, it depends what the warning signs are. Um, I think there's a very like fine line between warning signs and people's quirks, if that makes sense and like ticks and stuff, and like mannerisms, um, which makes that person special and amazing. But like, I feel like if you're sitting there and someone said something and your eyes are just like this, but that's vice versa. This ain't, this, like, this ain't me coming across as being like perfect, perfect man or whatever. Like I literally, I'm probably like a horrendous date. I probably just don't shut up or I'm just really awkward and clumsy and blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is going from what, how I feel about what I've been on dates with. I obviously do encourage to give people second chances. Bloody hell, I've given like a thousand in the past to certain people. And um, I, it just depends. Like if you get to a point where you're like, this is going absolutely nowhere, sack it off. Um, but it, it is hard once those feelings do get like massive and like you can't shake them or you can't stop thinking about them, all that thing, um, all them things rather. Like obviously if the date is talking about like crazy stuff like I don't know like I don't know just like something crazy maybe just be like you're right and then slowly walk out um because the thing is with me as well like, I really like banter I like to be with someone who can take the piss out of me I can take the piss out of them like obviously in a very flirtatious loving way obviously not absolutely being like you're a piece of crap like that not like that nothing abusive there is obviously a fine line between banter and being an asshole. So make sure if you're dating someone, they're not like rinsing you in a negative way. They are just like harmlessly like being playful with you. Um, but obviously if there are other warning signs about like, dunno, I can't really say mine, but if there are little things that are making you think, oh, why did they say that? Or that's weird. Um, I don't know. Talk to your friends about it and just be like, oh, can I see myself in a relationship with them? Uh, because like, that's the, that's the ultimate thing. Like some people just go on dates to date, get themselves out there, get social skills, do this, do that, meet new people, blah, blah. But I feel like the majority of people just want to go on dates to actually find the right person. And if I'm wrong, what the hell? Because I'm not going on dates to meet new people. I can do that in bloody Starbucks. Like, <laughs> that makes me sound so weird, but like, for me personally, I'm not going on dates to meet new friends, to make friends, or to meet new people. Obviously, it's great, but I do that on a night out. Like, I like meeting new people. Like, if I'm going on dates, I want them to be the love of my life. Do you know what I mean? I can just imagine all the comments being like, Mark, I feel like there's something wrong with you. Like, this is why this, this is why that. I'm going to say that a therapy session for me. 
Um, do you feel the need to put on a bit of a front or a confident persona on the first few, few dates or are you just you? This was also 50-50. Um, like, I feel like some people want to impress other people, which is absolutely fine. Some people think, no, you should just go into it straight away. I personally think I will not go in there to a date, pardon me, with 100% of my personality because, like, it would be nice to get to know someone and, like, gradually get these little bits out of someone. But I feel like if you're 100% someone different to who you're not, then that's really weird. And... If you'll actually commit to that person, are they committing to that person that you've pretended to be or actually you? And if that is the case, then you'll have to keep that up, keep up appearances until one day you let your guard down and they're like, oh my God, is this really you? So I just think that's a bit of a mess. I can do that. Um, so I usually just go in like soft mark, blah, 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 and just like like casually nice, blah, 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 and they build up and then they find out I'm a total nutcase. Um, but like a good nutcase, not like, <laughs> not like, yeah, you know what I mean. You guys know, you guys know what I'm like. I think it's so important just to be yourself because that ultimately is what everyone's trying to find, that perfect person for them. Like I couldn't imagine going into a dating situation with someone and they're pretending to be someone. Um, <clears throat> obviously it's nerve wracking. It is, it's so nerve wracking, bloody hell. Like it's so like not normal to go on dates with strangers. And that is also what I have advice on. Um, I think at the end of the day, if you're having these second guesses about someone, at the end of the day, they are a stranger. You've just met them. That's why it's really important for my friends to meet the person I'm on the date with or vice versa, I meet their friends. Because I really do think it says a lot about how they are as a person when you're around their friends. Like, I take this very seriously, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's a big deal for me, and I'm not ashamed of that. And if you can relate to me on that spiritual level, then that's amazing. Let's chat about it in the comments. If you're someone who just goes on dates to do blah, 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 that's amazing. I like, I think it's great. Like, you do you. And that's what every, that, and that's what it should be. Like, everyone just doing what they want to do, but just try not to hurt people in the process, because not everyone's the same. And that's why I say it's really important to just be honest. If you're not feeling it, like, don't ghost anyone. Um, because that ain't nice. That ain't cute. I think that's all I've got to really say. Because that's what all the Instagram um, polls were like. You guys really wanted me to speak about it more. I hope I've answered a few more questions. Like, I'm the bloody dating guru. <laughs> I just don't know. I, I am very old-fashioned. I just am. Can't help it, it's my mum and dad's fault. Uh, my sister is exactly the same as well. Um, and I, I'd hope to think there are like old fashioned people still out there and it's like all online, isn't it now? Which is great. I remember when I just used to be like, I just wanna go to the library or a museum and just bump into the love of my life. But I don't think that's gonna happen. You need to get yourself out there, enjoy yourself, be safe. Um, don't be a catfish, don't get catfished. Um, I genuinely think I was catfished the other day. Um, and I also saw myself on a dating app. So someone's, someone was pretending to be me on a dating app, which was great. And I also had DMs when I was in Florida of me apparently being on Bumble and Tinder, which I am not on. So, uh, yeah. Watch out for catfishes, be safe. Just like, I don't know, Skype them, FaceTime them, show up at their house. No, actually, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> No, because if, obviously if like you're texting someone, you don't know if it's actually them, just make sure, do all the precautions, make sure it's safe. And like always, I make these videos so you guys feel less alone in these crazy situations. Um, as of now, you guys know me, it is very important for me to just focus on myself. Like, I'm in, like, and someone was like, you need to be confident in yourself. Like, I feel like, um, you need to be happy within yourself because you're just relying on someone else. I'm like, I'm not. Like, I am so confident and happy and secure in myself these days. You guys have noticed it. Like, I'm super like me. Like, this has been a long time coming. Obviously, I've still got, like, work to do on myself. But overall, this is the most confident, comfortable I've ever felt about myself. Um, so, yeah. I feel like I'm not just looking for someone for, to that, some, for someone to make me feel better or for me to have like another person. 
it's genuinely because I think it's time. I think it's my time to meet someone. Um, but yeah, like if you never want to date anyone, don't blame you. <laughs> it just depends like how you feel. Don't feel pressured. If all your mates are dating and you don't want to, don't do it. And if you feel pressured by them, tell them to no. Tell them no. And that you will do it in your own time if you want to. Um, like I said, it's so important for me to talk about these things because, I don't know, it's, it's horrible to feel lonely. So, in me using my big mouth on my platform, and you won't feel less alone. But, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I am definitely looking forward to doing my next challenge video, so let me know in the comments which you want me to film, which you want me to film. I love you so much. Ugh, sorry. Give this video a thumbs up and I shall see you very soon. Bye guys. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time.